What's up guys, FXE here again with another unboxing video. This time we're going to be looking at the Badland 2500 pound capacity wench I got from Harbor Freight. Had a coupon for this thing for like 40 something dollars. I couldn't pass it up. I'm getting ready to get a motorcycle. Uh, probably a cheap one that doesn't run. I want the capability of wenching it onto my trailer. So this is what I bought. I have opened this box and made some modifications, so keep that in mind. I will point them out to you as I uh, show you the different components that are in this box. So, uh, on top of the box, we've got the Badland winch, 2500 pound capacity ATV utility winch with automatic load holding brake. Uh, you've got a single stage planetary gear system for fast line speed. Permanent magnet motor draws less current, ideal for ATV use. Free spooling for fast line out. Then you have a remote control that works up to 20 feet away. That right there was a nice feature that I wanted to have. So let's get inside and see what we got. Uh, some instructions. So I added on a 10 foot harness and I ordered some alligator clips so I can clamp these to my battery on my Jeep. And on the other end, I put this quick connector, slave cable connector. That way, when I wire this all up to the winch, I can just plug these two together. And I have a good connection where I can clip this to the battery, operate my winch. So the winch has its own two connections for power and ground. It also has a key fob there, just clipped on, comes right off. We've also got a guide, which we'll have to take apart. The little snap ring pliers will take that little clip out there and you'll be able to fit the hook through that's on the actual winch. Got some hardware to mount it to a winch mount that I'm actually going to put on my receiver hitch and your stout little winch and a crazy little strap that they give you which I'm not sure how they expect you to use it because it's only got one eyelid on it so probably won't be using that uh, so here you have your hook with a safety latch you've got your negative and your positive pull out and turn to free wheel. So it's got little ears on it. It'll let you free wheel it both directions. And you just pull out and let it sink back in. So I'm gonna go get the winch mount bracket that's going in the back of my hitch receiver and we'll get this thing mounted to that. Hook up the wiring, try to mount this to the bracket as well, and give it a test run. Alright, so here we have the bracket. I uh, got this on Amazon. Uh, both this and the bracket come separately. This is the actual hitch mount with the receiver pin. That comes by itself. And the hitch for the uh, winch will mount to this. Then I got this double receiver, so this portion will slide into the back of my Jeep. This portion will hold the winch, and this portion will hold my two inch ball that I will attach my trailer to so I don't have to disconnect and reconnect anything. It's all together in one unit, so it's a double two inch female receiver so that's the plan so let's get started so looks like there's only going to be two holes that hold it uh, these two holes here I'll slide it down through the receiver so we have some space to play with let's get our hardware Down, flat washer, block washer, 
boom. There is a flat washer on the back side of the bolt head. I'm gonna put another flat washer, a lock nut, or sorry, a lock washer and a normal nut on the bottom. So now the winch is in place. Still hand tight. Pull this out, turn it, free wheel it so we're just past. Lock it back in. All right, so I got a pair of uh, snap ring pliers. We'll move the actual winch over a bit. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we're gonna take one of these bars out. All right. So you got the snap ring. There's a little wavy washer to keep tension on it. rod slides out of a tube. So now you put your hook through and mount your guy. So we'll do a nut or a bolt, a lock washer or a nut. Put the rod bent through. So now that's good. Okay. Excuse me. Top view. Front view. Back side. Now we're going to go stick it on the Jeep. Uh, give it a try. We'll tighten up these nuts and bolts first and then uh, we'll see what happens. Two things fall down here. We are going to have some movement. Once the weight of your load is on there, that movement will go away. Uh, we've got our winch up top. So we just need to tighten up these uh, bolts and nuts. Negative. There are negative and positive labels on this side. And it says two winch on this little tag. 10 millimeter at the winch. Snug, not too tight, it's a very tiny thread. You don't want to snap it off if you find a new winch. So the inline fuse, they have completely exposed. I just taped it up, give it some protection. Just gonna drape it over the side of the Jeep, run it up to the battery. So here's the harness I made, 10 feet. Connecting it to the winch harness. Boom. Alligator clips to the battery. Hold it for three seconds till the light turns on. Lights on. Extend.
So that concludes my review of the Harbor Freight 2500 pound winch. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And again, thanks for watching.